Article 3 is entitled The Fall of Man. It says this, We believe that man was created in holiness under the law of his maker, but by voluntary transgression fell from that holy and happy state, in consequence of which all mankind are now sinners, not by constraint but choice, being by nature utterly void of that holiness required by the law of God, positively inclined to evil, and therefore under just condemnation to eternal ruin without defense or excuse. So, so now in this uh, next article, we're turning from God, from theology proper, to humanity. It's called anthropology. Who are we? And the first off, first off, what we get in this statement is that we believe that man was created, that we aren't here by accident, we're not a product of chance and time, but rather we're made intentionally by God, in God's image, to be in a relationship with God. Uh, once you get to Adam and Eve in the biblical narrative in Genesis, um, these early chapters are clearly still speaking of historical events and historical people. In the New Testament, Paul uh, thought this. He said that from Adam, from one man, Adam, uh, God made every nation of men that they might inhabit the whole earth. It's important also to note that uh, Adam and Eve were initially created uh, completely good and holy. They were in a state of innocence, and they were set up to rule over the earth as a picture of how God rules over the cosmos. But something happened, okay? Genesis chapter 3, uh, ever since Genesis chapter 3, man is now a fallen being, no longer holy and happy, no longer good and innocent. Adam and Eve, as the statement says, voluntarily transgressed the law of God and fell from their holy and happy state. And this is so crucial, and it explains so much it tells us that ever since this event, the whole created world has been thrown out of whack. All humanity is now born as sinners, utterly void of holiness, positively inclined to evil. Uh, you see this uh, all over again in the Bible, but a, a great place to see it is, is the Psalms. Uh, Psalm 51, uh, verse 5, where David says, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. Talking about Adam, the first man, Paul tells us in Romans 5.12 that sin came into the world through one man and death through sin. And so death spread to all men because all sinned. This is uh, often referred to as the fall or original sin. And it's so important to grasp because it means that since Adam, every person is born guilty deserving God's righteous punishment, and having a sinful nature that immediately leads to willful participation in sinful acts and thoughts. The article states very clearly and very succinctly and very soberly the result of this, that we are under condemnation, just condemnation to eternal ruin without defense or excuse. Humanity is now utterly helpless. And the good news is completely gutted of, of its goodness if you don't talk about and understand the bad news first. And that is that left to our own devices, we would never choose to love God. As totally depraved people, we are completely unable to help ourselves. We're unable to live in such a way to earn God's acceptance because for that to happen, we would have to live perfectly. Nobody's capable of doing that. And therefore, we are under his wrath with no hope. That's a really big problem. It's a good thing that Article 3 is not the end of what we believe. 